y'all, Decamon here, and welcome back to Metaphor Refantasio. Last time, holy moly, what a wild ride that was. Ah, oh, not only have we claimed our spot in the top 20, but we've claimed a new party member, and it was Louisa Squeeze! Well, sort of. Apparently he just kept her around because he likes her voice, but yes, Juna is now part of the crew, and she has an archetype of her own. And even more interestingly, she was working alongside the prince's faction as well. Huh, but not called that. But anyway, we have the curse formula, but now we can't read the dang thing. So what are we gonna do? We're gonna go to the church and talk to that uh, healer Ishka lady, because uh, apparently she might be able to read this thing. I'm hoping that goes well, but I can't imagine it will. Also, I'd love to go to Academia right now and, you know, talk to more and take a look at this mass dancer archetype, but I can't because I'm basically pinned on this map. So, irritatingly. Let's go. Oh, is inside this church. Let's go. Mm-hmm. Hope she won't mind if I come in on my sword. Terribly sorry. Putting some elixirs away. Be with you in a moment. Hello. How can I help you? Juna! <laughs> Long time no see. Sorry for all of us storming the place. You know, I kept hoping that Rello would actually be a party member, but now that I think about it, like, we're only apparently getting one character per race as part of the party, and technically we have Nurus for our winged person. So the only ones we're really missing are... What, the, the three-eyed people? And I guess another rogue. Hmm. Or no, no, I don't have a parapist. That's who it is. I'm missing a parapist. Right. Now that you all know each other's names, Rella is my older sister. Nani? Um, but bird, not bird. What? I, I'm so confused. Adopted One of you's adopted. Sister, that is. Okay. <laughs> Her family took me in. Though don't spread it around. The public doesn't know, and we don't know who tried to exploit it. So does that mean Rella's on the princess side as well? That's awesome! It's been forever, Juna. I'm so sorry. I really was planning to meet you after the opening ceremony. I understand. You were attending to Sanctifex Forden until Brylehaven. But that's wonderful. Such deft social climbing even puts father's efforts to shame, eh? Yeah, now if only could figure out how to stab Forden. Oh, social climbing. <laughs> Glad to make your acquaintance. I am Rella Cygnus. I'm a healer, but somehow I doubt that's why you're here. I mean, sort of? Actually, there's something we'd like you to look at. Hmm. Where? Where did you get this? From Luis's private quarters. I know it's asking a lot, but could you share anything you know? Without asking too many questions, I've seen something like this before. I'd never forget. Objectively speaking, the magic involved is a direct inversion of a healing spell, popularly known as a curse. Honestly, you think the direct inversion of a healing spell would just be any damaging spell, but sure, go on. Mm. I suppose that stands to reason. Pardon the late introduction. I am Hulkenberg, a Knight of the Crown. As you may have guessed, that is the formula to the curse that slew his royal highness, the prince. Right, right. She probably doesn't know the prince is still alive. Hold on. So we don't want to tell her that the prince is still alive, Stroll. The death of his highness was a tragedy, one I would see repaid in full. As his royal guard, it is my duty to punish the treasonous snake responsible. Then surely the man who penned this was Luis. Yep. Look, what happened at the exhibition? We were trying to get closer to Luis. You're a holy woman, so I couldn't ask your forgiveness. But if you could at least understand. The Lady Joanna's penitence was sincere. To hear her, I thought it must be so. It was Forden who chose such a terrible punishment. That was what scared me. Honestly, I felt like he did it to save face. Oh, Rella. Ah, but I'm a bit relieved. 
I heard rumors Louise had swept you off your feet and you'd been hanging on his arm since. Oh, I worried for you so, Juna. <laughs> I see now I needn't have given it a second thought. Of course. I am Juani Cygnus, and my life is... Yeah, I thought your name was Juna. Yes, yes, your life is your own, I know. Just make sure you're not causing trouble for everyone else. I suppose this is another dramatic and risky gesture. Like when you ran away from home in a frenzy of passion, declaring you'd take the stage or die trying. Well, thankfully, she took the stage. No! Well, sort of. Maybe, yes, but... Oh, you didn't have to put it like that. <laughs> I like her already. I've looked over the formula. From what I can tell, this spell's effects are... enduring. As long as the magic source continues to exist, the effect shall never fade. So, now that we have the formula, can't we, you know, formulate a counter curse? The trouble is, while most curses simply consume the magic released in the moment's casting, this one is designed to perpetually draw on the magic of the caster. Hmm. I wonder if we can make some sort of magic Faraday cage and put the prince in it for a while. So as long as Luis lives, it doesn't matter where his victims run and hide. Sounds just like him. But I'm afraid even if his highness still lived, I don't think anyone could have broken the curse using this. <sighs> Damn it! This formula isn't complete. It's a mere outline clearly jotted from memory. I couldn't tell you how to lift the curse from this alone. It's incomplete. Oh, God, son of a bitch. Of course it's incomplete. I knew this was too easy. What? Then I'm sorry I couldn't be of any help. Mm. No, you you've done plenty. Especially since we're the ones who sprang this on you. Pardon me, young man. May I say one last thing? Okay. You're a friend of hers, aren't you? Please. Keep Juna safe. <sighs> of course. She won't need it. No, she can take care of herself, but sure. Of course. I'll do what I can. Thank you. She can be reckless sometimes. <laughs> I'll be here for the foreseeable future. Any friend of Juna is welcome here, so stop by any time you like. The curse is impossible to break? No, it's just impossible to break given our limited information. There's a big difference, Galica. Did I miss a funeral? I've never seen you lot so gloomy. <sighs> what do we do now? Simple, we go back to plan A and we skewer Louis. The only way left is to take down Luis himself. The impossibility of that is precisely what led us here, Stroll. And now, we are no further than when we started. Plenty of assassins have come for Luis, but the king's magic works every time. They all died frozen in agony. Mm. Even if we could fight him properly, do we stand a chance? The man's an unparalleled master of both martial and magic arts. Yeah, but we have superpowers on our side. This might be the end. Still, we have to stop Luis, no matter what. The royal magic's not an absolute shield. It cost Gladell his life. We've just got to maintain the trust we've earned from Luis, and eventually we'll get our chance. For now, he told us to wait until the race's next task is announced. Ah, uh, lucky us. Then we'll have to do just that. Hopefully not too long. <sighs> I'm pooped from all this brainstorming. I could use a break in the Gauntlet Runner. Galica, we're in the Gauntlet Runner. What are you talking about? <sighs> If we take Juno out in public, we might attract a crowd. Can't risk Louie catching on that we're in the royal capital. At least for today, I'll ask her to stay in the runner, away from prying eyes. Well, I must say I'm impressed. You have enough beds to accommodate this many people. And probably a couple more, judging by the followers list. Yes, as much as they grumble about cramped quarters. <laughs> Apologies. Tis hardly accommodation worthy of a diva. And I confess, the ride itself is often jarring. At the very least, I'll be happy with a bath. You have a room for that, I trust? Yes, we do. Right this way, milady. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, no point getting reckless now. Let's think about this some more tomorrow. Okay. 
Huh. By the way, what have you been doing all this time, Nurus? Thinking, mostly. Been having a good old ponder ever since I saw Luis's Skyrunner in the air. Hmm? Always been my dream to fly on wings, you see. Not with any of this magic levitatory. But then in you come with this teleportation. Made me start wondering if there was any valid point at all to my flight theory, what? I mean, we still gotta have a way to get to the location the first time to be able to teleport back from it. A long while back, I did a flight experiment to prove my theory was sound. Failed spectacularly, though. And got myself all crunched up in the process. Hmm. I was still in bed, midway through my convalescence when they... And they told me I was to be demoted. Oh Everything shit! Now. Sorry, man. Between us, old boy, my flight theory is complete. Principles are sound and tested. All that's left are the practical, eh? Incorporating it into the Gauntlet Runner. Yeah, well, that's easier said than done. That's probably like a full redesign. But ever since that accident, I, I suppose I've, I've been afraid to move forward with it. Afraid of failure. Hmm. You and the rest of our merry band are risking your very lives for the prince. Here I sit moping. Eh? <laughs> the way I see it, your teleportation can only take us places we've been. If we want to see new horizons, we'll need to take to the skies. Okay. It'll take time, no doubt. But I'll put my very soul into it. No shortcuts. And when I fly, I'll do it my way. Man, I look forward to seeing it. Hmm? Party formation. You can change or add members to your party from the party option in the main menu. Press X and form a group of up to four. Note, reserve members gain less experience at the end of battle than active participants. And you can never remove the protagonist. So? <sighs> Let's just end the runner today. Our plans didn't pan out, but we should just concentrate on getting our strength back for now. Hmm. Is that so? I assume that means no hanging out. No really going anywhere, period. Huh. You want me to just crash out, huh? <laughs> it's a small bed. Doesn't look very comfortable. Ugh, I'd rather be doing things, but, you know, no one's gonna let me. Hmm. Yep. Yeah. Not gonna let me crash, so fine. I'll call it a night. Sure. Dang nabbit, Galica. My spell! I'd rather be doing something, but sure. Hmm? Late night. I'm finding it hard to sleep. As good a time as any for some reading, I guess. Oh, that's right! We haven't shown Juna the fanfiction book yet. Oh, good. You're still awake. <laughs> What's the matter? Eh, something on your mind? Can't sleep? Can't sleep? <laughs> well, that is rather the problem. I'm wide awake. Once we're back tomorrow, I'll sneak the formula back into Luis's room. <laughs> Even if he suspected us, he'd never work out that we got to the capital and showed it to Rella in a single night. He won't find out about our mission. Hmm. I should probably have Juno return any Magla keys we got on the Courageous 2, just to be safe. Give them to her later. You know, I'm a bit surprised. I thought I was fine doing all that infiltration at Luis's place. Turns out I wasn't. Finally having others who know the truth, and having gotten to see my sister. I didn't realize how exhausted I am. <sighs> and you personally saved me from danger back there. I'm terribly grateful to you. <laughs> You're lucky, really. I'll have you know I'm rarely this candid. Hmm? That's the forbidden text you mentioned in Luis's room, is it? I've seen him reading it from time to time. Really? Interesting. What's it like? Can I read a bit of it? Yeah, sure. <laughs> I'm up to the part where Lee and Isa are having a fight. Mm -hmm. The prevailing culture of the world is one of freedom in all things. No faith, fealty, or philosophy enforces ideology. All are free to create 
and all are free to embrace those creations. This culture's influence spreads throughout the world. It is even said that a song of peace was powerful enough to bring an end to war. Dang. Oh, how inspiring. It's hard to imagine that a single song could be so influential. I wonder what the world would be like if a song really could reach all people's hearts. No matter their status or tribe. It really does sound nice. We Nydia. We're all liars, you know. Mm -hmm. Everyone told us we were inherently worthless. Just a fact of our birth. So I learned some glamours to make myself at least look valuable. Wait. You're in disguise right now? Huh. This form. It's all just a fancy disguise, really. A gilded mask for the world to admire. So what do Nydia normally look like then? Now I'm curious. Or not. No, do forgive me. That was all lies, lies, lies. Uh, now I don't believe you. I don't think it's necessarily a good idea to reveal yourself entirely. But you should <laughs> The tongue, I saw the tongue sticking out. There it is again! <laughs> If these new powers are to give form to my ideals, I want to create a world where we can appreciate each other's freedom. <laughs> I'll make sure everyone hears that in my songs. No matter what happens. That sounds nice. Juna and I talked into the night. Time for me to start your social link, madame. On or not. The age of a new king hmm. draws nearer. That's surprising. I thought for sure we'd start her social link there. Now, prepare to hear the race's next challenge. Let's find out where our fierce competitors are bound. I mean, we know we're going to the next capital city, so. To recap, the 20 candidates with the current highest approval on the King's Rock will be the only ones to proceed. All others will be disqualified. I'd say the results of the exhibition are sure to have spread by now. Let's have a look at the standings, shall we? <laughs> In first place, the undisputed winner, Bane of Sea Monsters and Saviour of the People, our very own Sanctifex Forden! Yeah, knocking him off the high horse is gonna be tricky. And the traitor Luis in second, despite not actually being in the race. But wow, the traitor! <laughs> we have the warrior monk captain, Master Kido. Furthermore, in the end, everyone but Luis is just representing the Sanctus Church. Well, not yet. I'm there, and I don't give a shit about the church. What's your point? I dare say that's a relief. We'll finally be done with all this chaos. A return to normalcy. <sighs> ha. Normalcy. Funny how it's only the rich who miss how things used to be. But now Count Luis has the people behind him. He'll save the common man. Yes, we're all keeping our ears out for a response from Luis's faction. But we do have one standout who's seen a stunning jump in popularity since the exhibition. That would be me. The lad responsible for exposing the sins of the Sanctress, Joanna. Valiant human slayer. Yes, it's the young elder. <laughs> <laughs> right. Wasn't expecting that one. Nameless to famous in a single night. Just like that, he's in the top 20. Uh, I don't think it was a single night. I worked hard to get to that 20. Oi, cryer man. Where's the windbag? The one what acted all high and mighty over the tiny human head. Oh, he dead. Who? Oh. Right, that Gladell or something. No sign of him. Probably saw the writing on the wall and dropped out. <laughs> nope. He dropped, but not not the way you think he did. So it really was all talk then. It's a disgrace to the Rusan, hiding his inadequacy behind Luis's authority. But the boy candidate isn't the only one in the spotlight. We've a rising star by the name of Katharina. Wait a minute, I thought she dropped out. Some big ideas, that girl. I hear she plans to put a price on every wealthy head if she takes the throne. And what's wrong with that? If they're sitting on most of the kingdom's money, they can afford to hire a little extra security every day. Let them sweat it out. <laughs> now, here's a surprise. 
We've got a Mastari candidate still in the running. And my sources say they hail from... Well, well. Virga Island! <laughs> a pagan islander. But they're filthy barbarians. Besides, nobody could compare to Lord Nemo. The final roundup's actually looking pretty diverse. We're just about ready to announce the next leg of the race. Yeah, I know where this is gonna go. I already got that little hint from the scene with Forden. This is not gonna end well. Of course, it's interesting to see Louise gonna actually enter the race proper now. And that's the bell. Thank you for waiting, ladies and gents. It's time to begin the second round of the tournament for the throne. First of all, congratulations to the 20 who have won their places on the King's Rock. You are now officially the winners of the first round. Let's give them a hand! Wow, I'm surprised Loveless is still on it. No sign of Luis. Even if he does plan to take over, suppose he's still not eager to play by their rules. I haven't seen Juna this morning either. Mm. I heard some nobles say she had a job suddenly come up. Better that the audience doesn't see her with us, anyway. That's true. Now, at long last, we are ready to announce their next challenge. This time, the task for the candidates is... Here comes Louie, right on cue, right? Recovering and offering a divine relic! What? A relic? Yeah, that's probably gonna piss them off to no end. Don't worry, we're happy to explain everything. You'll not want to forget this, so we've arranged for you to hear it from an unforgettable voice. Ah, so this is where Juna's job was. To tell us more, please welcome to the stage our Whoa. guy, our songstress, the lovely Lady Juna. How do you get your hair to do that? That's, God, that's gotta be hard on the head. Her sudden obligation revealed, I suppose. <laughs> Chosen heroes. Your next destination is Alterbury Heights, the capital of the Principality of Montario. You are to gather there by the deadline, with a divine relic in hand to offer the Sanctus Church. Yeah, see, this one I don't like. The first one, the first mission we had was understandable. You know, deal with something threatening the countryside. This, this is pandering, 100%. We're just pandering to the church now. Tragically, there are still heathens in this land who choose to reject sanctism. They care nothing for salvation. <sighs> and this was the moment where a seemingly fair contest went straight out the window. They cling to strange idols, calling them divine relics, believing them gifts from their eldritch gods. But their rituals are unstable, and their relics just primitive magic tools. It is time we put an end to this misguided witchery. Take these relics from the pagan's grasp and bring them to the birthplace of sanctism, Alterbury Heights, in Montario. <sighs> Please deliver them to their rightful place in God's hands. May all our aspiring heroes be blessed with good fortune and the favor of God. I pray for your success. Yeah, I would tell this contest to shove it at this point. I imagine Louis is gonna probably have the same opinion I have on this one. F the church. Before a crowd, doesn't she? Not as if he plucks at your heart. Oh, focus, Iceland, focus. <laughs> Stop swooning, Oakenberg. By the deadline of the second round, Alterbury will begin the festivities for the autumnal Montario Saints Day. Mm. This two-day event kicks off on Saints Day Eve, with the main celebrations on the day proper. And this year's event will be historic. His Eminence, Sanctifex Forden, will be personally sealing the collection of the Pagan Relics. To celebrate, the songstress Juna will be dedicating a ceremonial song. You won't want to miss this, folks. Now, ladies and gentlemen, 
On my mark, let the second round of the tournament for the throne begin! Oh my goodness. How the heck are we gonna deal with this? They want a divine relic of some kind, huh? They're unabashedly ordering them to steal relics from pagan land now. That's plunder. They would steal our very culture. <laughs> that candidate's a Mustari. Small wonder he's so aghast. Forden's stooping to a new low. Agreed. What do you mean? Oh, sorry. God dang, I hate it when it does that. I'm literally just trying to advance and the options come up for less than a frame. And it's like, boom, there they are. Do I have any choices? Oh, what do you mean, what new low? Oh, I actually can see the options, which is nice. By and large, the Mustari are a pagan people. Their relics are cultural touchstones, vital to their hearts and faiths. And Forden's just ordered us to loot them as we please. Hmm. What if we turn this on its head again? What if we go loot a Sanctus relic? But in our case, we won't even know what we're doing until Luis gives the order. Either way, we're bound for Alterbury. It's further east. We've a long trip ahead of us. Yeah. Hey, Nurus, how's the flying thing coming? Oh, my shoulder hurts. I don't care if it's the crown theocracy. You'd think they'd ask me a little sooner than the morning of. Nope, never. Still managed to put on a hell of a show for him. Lady Juna, Count Luis has sent for you. And you lot too, I suppose. <laughs> Looks like our first job's come in. These men have me running all over. <sighs> it's alright. Remember, we're your chauffeurs now, right? We're back, Lord Luis. Funny, isn't it? Since the Gladell incident, you've been inseparable from this gang. It's only was a day ago. Well, one has to keep one chauffeur in line, don't you think? Hey, heard you got a gig at the Sanctus Festival. Good on you. I Thanks. like him so far. Though I don't know if it's worth celebrating. The big brother, aka the shorter of the two. Yeah, you don't trust us one bit. Seems to me it's to keep Lord Luis in check. Putting me on stage the whole time might keep you from crashing their Saints' Day party. And if we try anything, they'll use it as an excuse to blacklist you. Just the kind of shite you'd expect from those Sanctist stooges. You need fear nothing. It is Forden who now stews in his dread. That he seeks the divine relics is common knowledge. But who would simply give up an idol on par with the gods' reverence? He has all but commanded that we take it by force. Mm -hmm. The king's magic ruined his schemes. You humiliated him in the public eye. And in one desperate final grasp for authority, the fool has placed his fate in my hands. Forden's game will soon end. Let us at least give him the finale he deserves. What are you planning to do? What do you mean finale? What do you mean a finale? What? Do you need to hear it repeated? I will give Forden his death. Oh, he's gonna give him a booby-trapped relic. And what of the king's magic? <laughs> You'll see soon enough. For now, you need only follow my orders. Your task is to obtain a certain divine relic on my behalf. The artifact in question is a lance known as Dracodius. Hmm. Dracodius. The Draco implies something to do with dragons, I presume? Oh, well, that sounds lovely. Suffice to say, the lore behind this particular relic intrigues me. You will acquire it in time for Saint's Day, and bring it to me. Pretty high stakes, my lord. You sure you want this crop of novices on the job? Rest assured, my other agents have their own relics I've assigned them to pursue. I've no urgent need for this lance, nor for them, should they fail. Damn. I'll go along and keep an eye on them, shall I? You can bet that if they try and run off with the relic, I'll put a stop to it. You certainly are attached to them, aren't you? Well, it's their first formal assignment in your service, after all. I can be your eyes and ears. So be it then. You may act accordingly. Oh, lucky us. <laughs> so, my lord, where can we find this fancy lance? 
Find your clues elsewhere. You have nothing further from me. Prove you think as well as you fight. Damn. Well, thanks anyway. May we both find success in the pursuit of our shared vision. <laughs> shared vision, huh? Sure. Hmm. Well, we're back at the inn. So far, the only thing we know for sure is that it's called the Dracodios. All right. I guess we got no choice but to go somewhere else and try and gather more information. Let's go. Can I actually go somewhere? No, I cannot. I am straight just pinned here. And yet the memorandum just had a nice big update. Uh, oh dear. Dedication ceremony. A special ceremony announced by the current theocracy to be the central event of this year's Saints Day Festival in Montario. By collecting and sealing away dangerous relics scattered throughout the kingdom in the name of sanctism, the ceremony will relieve the anxieties of the people. Well, such is its designated purpose. But it's effectively a continuation of the exhibition of the Brave held in Brylehaven, expected to act as the final leg of the Tournament of the Throne. While it can be seen as an open invitation to loot and pillage treasures of pagan faith, while keeping the Sanctist officials' hands clean, some also note that it allows the Crown Theocracy to seize a veritable armory of dangerous weapons with unknown powers, a worrying sign for the days to come. Oof. Don't like that thought. Montario Saints Day, the largest Sanctist festival of the faith that takes place every autumn in Altaberry. Highly devout followers will go to great risk to make the pilgrimage at least once in their lives. According to religious scripture, God used his precious hands to bless the lands of the earth four times. The last of these blessings occurs in autumn, and the festival is held in celebration. The scriptures also teach that the monolith is evidence of God's favor upon the world, and that the plentiful grain harvest of autumn shew the bounty and glory of his blessing. Yeah, sure. What do we got for people? On Juna. Initially thought to be in league with Louis, the surprising truth is that she's actually the second agent sent by the Resistance to save the prince. Her passion for singing, though, has always been genuine. As an idiot, she has lived her life under false pretenses, extending even to her physical appearance. Because of this, she feels that singing is the only true experience she's ever had. Again, what do they actually look like then? <laughs> Hector. Oh, a watchdog governing company is Gladell. Though he looks unerringly vicious, it is said he was originally a friendly stray before being forcibly melicanized by Gladell's magic igniter. Ugh. Dick, he mutated the dog on purpose? Ugh, Montario. One of the kingdom of Eucardia's three constituent countries occupying its easternmost lands. The Montarian capital, or capital, Altaberry Heights, is a mountain city commonly blanketed in snow, occupying much land held sacred to sanctism. Infamous for its cold climate, Altaberry's many prominent Rosante and Clamar noble houses boast a hearty resistance to the chill. They enjoy more direct political influence over Montario than other countries' aristocracies tend to wield, currently ruled by a rogue lord. Hmm. Mage Academy. One of the, once the kingdom's preeminent magic research academy located in the Prince of Palio Montario, accused by the Crown Theocracy of conducting dangerous research, the academy was subdued by force and shuddered only a few years prior. Today it is only an empty ruin, untouched and unvisited. I call bullshit on that. <sighs> well, if I need... he's not here. Son of a bitch. I was gonna check the information broker, but they're not here. Where's the information broker? I have a question. Divine Lance? I'm not sure I'm the best person to ask about that sort of thing. No wait, someone outside was rambling on about just that a bit ago. Had a large mask on. Must have been Mustari. He seemed awfully bothered about it. Huh? He was bothered about the Lance? Sounds like he may know something. Any idea where he went? Hmm. I believe he mentioned something about taking a boat to the island. He must be headed towards the coast by the Merchant's Bazaar, wouldn't you say? Okay, so... Oh, if we hurry, we might be able to catch him. Let's head for the Merchant's Bazaar. Well, convenient, I came in here. Oh, right, I haven't checked now that I'm in the top 20. Thou art but one who hath made a small ripple? Seriously? I'm in the top 20. How can this only be a small ripple? Yeah, interesting. Yeah, we don't have her... Uh... She doesn't have anything else yet. I'm curious. I want to see what this masked dancer can do. Infernal Vortex. Cyclo. Tyrakaja. Tetra Break. It gets masked Revelry and Crimson Flame heavy fire to all enemies. Dude, this thing looks awesome. Synthesis inflicts all enemies with one type of weakness to fire, ignores resistance. Nor inflicts all enemies with one type of weakness to ice, ignores resistance, and one type of weakness to dark, ignores resistance. Dance Macabre, high chance of one hit killing all enemies. Oof. Good magic stat too. 
Ma'am, you're probably gonna be learning mage skills. Although, to be fair, this thing already covers mage. All right, looking for a Mustari. Looking for a Mustari. You're not a Mustari, you're Rudolph. Where do I find a Mustari around here, huh? Where could I find a Mustari around here? How about you, sir? Phew, our last voyage was a roughin'. The sea was calling to us with the pull, and we damn near answered. The pull? Oh, that's right. When the sea starts acting nearly like we sailors called that the pull. This magma crystal is what sank at the bottom of the sea, and they can do strange things to boats, dragging them all higgledy piggledy about. See those balls of seawater floating in the distance? That phenomenon happens in town on occasion, too, and it chills a sailor to the bone, it does. It's like your feet want to walk on the walls instead of the floor, or like the walls have become the floor. Hard to describe it, really. Oh, yeah, yeah, that was fun. Had that problem on Luisa's ship. Hey, that Mustari over there! Ah, it's the candidate. Understandably upset. I can't believe this. He would have them all take what they please. This same atrocity all over again. Damn him. And damn his clown theocracy. He's in quite a state. Though I can hardly blame him, with everyone ordered to ransack his homeland. For now, how to approach him? Hmm. I want to ask you something. They've really crossed the line. Why don't we team up? Yeah, this one's probably, like, appealing to what's uh, going on here. They've really crossed the line. Hmm? Wait. You're not with the Sanctus Church. Nope. One of the few who aren't, it seems. I don't know much about divine relics, but I know all too well what it's like to see your homeland threatened. The divine relics are symbols of our faith. More than that, they are the soul of our culture, our history. Followers of the old native beliefs worship idols that are known to conduct magic, which they call divine relics. But unlike the igniters of modern times, they are primitive in make and function, and often dangerous. So said my studies, at least. That sounds too much like propaganda to me. Oh, far from it. Divine relics aren't primitive in the least. That's just Sanctus propaganda. Really, it's the opposite. Most of these relics are powerful beyond belief, and igniters are just our crude imitations of them. <laughs> if you'd ever seen one yourself, you'd know the difference. They don't call them divine for nothing. With powers like that, they might as well have come from the gods. You're that songstress. Didn't expect to hear all this from you, after what you said for the crowd. Look, that's just a job. Well, a job's a job. But as I'm sure you're aware, pagans aren't the only ones oppressed by the church. <laughs> you really are well informed. And it sounds like you know something of oppression. Did you perhaps come from the Mage Academy? Huh, I just read about that. Details, darling. I've seen abuse of powers before, and I'd rather not see it again. The other candidates seem bent on taking relics by any means necessary. But you... You all seem different. That we are. To be fair, we are looking for one. The only relic we know by name right now is Draco Dios. The Lance of the Dragon God. So that's why you came up to me. I suppose anyone would want our homeland's greatest treasure. Oh. Uh, sorry. The Lance is no secret we're trying to hide. Truly, I hope mainlanders come by the scores to see it. Our village is on an island in the world tree's embrace, where the Dragon God sleeps. On a clear day, you can see it from this land. Hmm. An island across the ocean. You mean Virga Island, then? It is a large island in the Inland Sea. Most of its inhabitants are Mustari, and it remains the only place in the land where Sanctism has not taken root. Sweet. Can we stay there? I'm not out to abolish Sanctism myself. I just don't want everything we believe in to be destroyed. So that's why you're in this race. I thought I could change the world. And then I saw the truth. What a fool I was. I've not introduced myself yet, have I? My name is Edeni. Edeni, huh? Take my advice. Forget about Dracodius. We can't hand it over, and you'll never reach it anyway. Hmm. What do you mean? We'd never take it by force. We don't intend to take it by force. Even if you did, you'll not find any ships that sail there. And that's only the first obstacle in your way. Take my word. 
It's no place for an outsider. <sighs> it's time I stopped chasing a fool's dream. I need to face reality. And if you're smart, you'll do the same. <sighs> Can't be stuck. Well, sounds like Draco Dios is on Virga Island somewhere. Is there really no ship passage there? This is the biggest port in the kingdom. <laughs> Tis true. His words reminded me. Thanks to both sea currents and cultural tensions, the only merchant ships passing Virga Island embark from Montario. So what, we have to walk to Montario in order to take a ship to Virga? That seems strange. But Montario is on the other side of the bloody sea. You can't seriously be suggesting we go there first and then loop back to Virga. We'd never make the deadline. Then let's bally well conquer this inland sea ourselves. Wait, what? <laughs> Don't worry, chums. I'm on the job. <laughs> oh, dear. You worried about Lady Juna? Hmm? Actually asking this time, not just prodding. Shut up. Tell. You still don't trust them, do you? How can I? We've only known them for a matter of days. Look, the whole Gladell mess. You really think they're innocent? Mm. Then mm. let's go with them, yeah? Me and you. You do whatever makes sense to you, Del. You know I'll follow wherever you go. Oh, God. Are we going to have these two as hangers on? That's going to be friggin' awkward. Hmm. <laughs> you never could keep your mouth shut, eh? Though we do technically need a parapist. I wonder... No. No, that would be crazy. We could steal another person from Luis's faction. Oh my god, he made it float. What the? Wait a second. You're not saying this thing can sail now. It's now the gauntlet swimmer. He's like, no, I just taught I just taught it how to do the breaststroke. Quite right. While you lot were hobnobbing at old Luis's soiree. I had his run all to myself, and believe you me, I got quite an eyeful. Came away full of ideas. After all, this old girl wasn't designed as a land runner alone. All about modular design, don't you know? Flexible jointage. So I did a bit of tinkering. But why? We'd not even spoken of the island until moments ago. <laughs> island, island, milady. Look at the map. What's our shortest route to Montario, eh? A straight shot through the inland sea. Ah, true. Huh. The man has a point. That never dawned on me. Besides, I've kept my ears open. What? Here there be monsters and all that rot. You'll need more than a ship for these waters. You'll need a proper sea runner. Oh, right. Nurus, you weren't at the exhibition, so you wouldn't know. Forden already killed the big sea monster out there. It had a huge head. <laughs> really? Don't tell me you're making the trip in that. Uh, yeah, yeah, we are. Why are you two here? Bodyguard duty, Lady Juna. We're along for the ride, especially since you're bound for some remote wild island. <laughs> These poor newcomers are working so hard and you still can't trust them. Or is it me you don't trust? We're here on Master Luis's orders. I'm sure I don't have to outline the pecking order there. <sighs> or do you have a problem with us being around? No. Rather, we're running short on beds. Oh, don't worry. Del doesn't take up as much space as me. <laughs> He's just he like, dude, was that a short joke? Oh, belt up. Besides, you really expect this rust bucket to survive a night at sea? If you don't like it, leave. Nobody's forcing you to come. <laughs> Looks like we're crewmates then. Not unlike a sea voyage for a bit of fun, yeah? Oh, goodness. Well, there's going to be some awkward conversations going on here. This is a fine mess. Wasn't expecting them along. What do you think their angle is? <sighs> to guard Juna, they still suspect us. They're big on sailing now, they still suspect us. They probably still suspect us. I agree. We definitely crossed a line with the whole Gladell incident. Like he gave us a choice? Suppose that's that, eh? 
I'll do a last check on her amphibials, make sure she's shipshape. Uh, give me a shout when you're ready. Fine. <sighs> Dang damn it, I still want to go to academia, but I can't because <laughs> I don't technically have Nida yet. Because I imagine she's one of these three right here. Uh, and of course, nobody can be hung out with right now. All right. Oh, right. Memorandum. I paused for a reason. It's called Memoranda. Oh, God. Adini, the young chief of the Mustari village on Virga Island. A rare progressive amongst the Mustari, he left the island to participate in the tournament for the throne in order to shed light on the island's customs and treatment of the tribe. However, disappointed by the theocracy's crushing dominance is spearheaded by Forden, as well as his own powerlessness in the face of it, he decides to withdraw. Ah, Kind of sad, really. Though that does technically mean we have more people for us. Fall of the Mage Academy. An armed conflict several years ago when the Royal Mage Academy, located in Northern Ontario, was forcefully closed down by the combined forces of the State Army and the Crown Theocracy's Monk Army. Records indicate that the casualties involved were equivalent to a small-scale war. The official reason given for mobilizing against the Academy was that their research endeavors had crossed into outright sedition, including seeking to tame a dragon without the Kingdom's authorization. In truth, the incident was orchestrated by Forden, who sought to keep the dogma, historical accounts, and igniters of the Crown Theocracy from being undermined by advanced magical research. The infamously dire number of casualties was not actually a product of armed combat, but caused by the thoughtless destruction of the artifacts under research, which drove the dragon there to an indiscriminate rampage. Ultimately, the incident proved wholly self-destructive for both sides. Damn. Look about a frickin' waste. Ooh, Divine Relic. Ancient relics with a power similar to igniters. They are passed down within indigenous communities with distinct religious beliefs apart from sanctism. According to the Crown Theocracy, they are called divine relics because they are treasured as religious objects representing the ancient divinity. But Juna says the truth is hardly so simple. That's true. More? Dracadios. The divine relic Louis ordered the party to acquire. The Mustari village is a Virga island regarded as a sacred object containing the spirit of the dragon god, a deity of the islander's faith. The islanders are unlikely to hand over such an heirloom to an outsider, and yet... And yet what? And yet what? God dang it! And yet what? Ugh. And yet I should swing by the rock and cash in on all the mag that's floating around out here first. Can we see our face finally? Uh, come on. Hey, is that tiny little face yours? Not that anyone who doesn't know you personally would know it, it's you at that size. Ah. Uh, <laughs> yep, first is Ford and then Luis and Godot. <sighs> but I can kind of make out Rella? Tells you how popular she is considering she's not even a candidate. Wait, Rella's in the top 20? Also, damn near 5,000 mag there, nice. Yep. All right, nurse, let's get this party on the road. Ready to depart. <laughs> Time the way I could already. You're not forgetting anything, are you? I'm good. <laughs> I just got the hold of a chart at the route. We're all set for our trip to Virga Island. Now then, let's set sail for new lands. I didn't know this sucker could float. Ooh, camp. Camp again. Camp again? Virga Island is this spot right here. Wonder how many days away it is. Four days, three nights, huh? That's a fair amount of travel time. All right, let's get rolling. This Seems like an odd route to get to Fug Island. We can't just go straight. At the region's cut, all right, Pain Miguel. We must go around and across them unless they carry us off course. By my reckoning, it'll take us four days and three nights. Give or take. Uh, three nights at sea, huh? I hope Sho can handle it. Mm -hmm. uh, with Juna and her two thorns on our side, tensions may be high. Well, nothing to do but move forward. <laughs> A jolly good. Rest assured, I'll get us through these waves to Vag Island as gently as can be. Here we go. Time to take a run. <laughs> or in this case, a swim. Oh. I thought I'd get to see the big legs doing the dog paddle. It is actually moving. A fine effort. Was it ever in doubt? You're the master of the helm, my dear. <laughs> Virga Island, eh? Well, I can say it's wholly foreign to me. Tis a land within an archipelago where many Mustari live. I've heard their faith involves a special maiden of some kind. Mm -hmm. How have they managed to avoid the church's influence? I doubt they've the manpower or arms to fend off the crown theocracy. I imagine just geographic isolation is a big part. 
There's something there that could overturn history, as the Sanctists tell it. Something so damning they couldn't even afford their soldiers seeing it. Oh. So the rumors say at least. Might just be a conspiracy theory. Got me curious. As for this dragon god's lance, we shall need to negotiate. Oh, lovely. If negotiations are even on the table. Ugh, why all the fuss? Just kill them and take it. Damn, man. Cold. Nothing else works, yeah. Keep it simple. It's always kill, kill, kill with you two. Hey, Lord Luis's orders. Don't need to tell you, do I? Dude, we could throw you two off the side of this boat and no one would ever know. Yet you'd impugn Count Luis's reputation with wanton massacre. Simple, was it? Ugh, give it a rest. Are we there yet? Nah, we got a ways to go, man. Four days, three nights, remember? Hard to talk strategy with those two hanging around. <sighs> True, but I can still hang out with people who need to be hung out with mid-transit. Ladies and gentlemen, feast your ears on this! The elder boy candidate seems to have crossed the channel to the island! On a gauntlet runner, too! <laughs> Is he alright? They say the waters are clear of monsters now, but... If he made it, that means my husband can go out fishing again, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I have to say, I expected at least one daredevil to try plowing straight through the inner sea. But I never thought it'd be that boy. Why not? We do everything that's crazy. That's the same lad who exposed that lady from Martira, isn't it? He's not bad. The Virga Island's infamous people. Treacherous. Even the crowd theocracy struggled with them for years. So how will this shake out? <laughs> the festivities have just begun. Oh, goodness. The gauntlet runner takes to the water in its new form setting out to the wide open sea. Their destination, Virga Island, an enigmatic foreign land that not even the long arm of sanctism can reach. Not all present now would count themselves as allies. Would this prove difficult? Or something else entirely? And don't ask me, I have no idea. At least the thing doesn't shake so much. Ah, no ass speaking, come in. Harris's voice is echoing out of the runner phone. The high space got his fishing gear laid out on the deck. If you're keen on learning, ask him. Can't promise I'll stop if you slip overboard, though, so be careful, huh? Well, let's see. High space sometimes leaves fishing gear on deck, which you can use to fish. Any fish you catch can be used as ingredients. Oh. Interesting. Having June and these brothers around has certainly made the gauntlet run livelier. <laughs> Poor straw is just out like a friggin' light. I love it. Huh, that's weird. I thought Hulkenberg needed to be, uh, talk. I thought you needed to talk, girl. You wanted to wait till we were traveling. Why don't you want to talk to me now? Oh, you bum. Oh, that sucks. Uh, dang nabbit. Well, I do need the fish probably for some of these dishes here. Oh, new recipes. Sweeter than poison, cursed love ballad, secretest of secrets. What and the heck are these? Precision fermented ribs. Magical bread, yep. Sweeter than poison, restores 200 MP and cures poison for one. But it needs a turnip that I don't have. Cursed love ballad, restores 100 MP and hex for all out. Holy crap, that's awesome! Fully restores MP for one, but I need a Lord of the Lake. You know what? Screw it. I'm gonna make a cursed love ballad. Okay, so. And this is one of Juna's dishes, so we can actually have some time to talk to her. Got a second. Now, the most important thing we have to consider is who will be partaking of our meal. What are they like? What are their tastes? All of this matters. First, you need to visualize the meal. Then you pick the ingredients that look like they'll get you there. Intuition is key. Uh, ma'am, I'm just following a recipe. I picked out ingredients with Juna at random. <laughs> oh, wow! If this tastes as good as it smells, won't that be just amazing? Yes, that's definitely going in there. I don't underestimate texture. These little blobs are cute. And these, look at how they shine. Oh, goodness. <sighs> now that our ingredients are carefully selected, we move to the main phase, preparation. 
<laughs> oh, you can cook anything as long as you believe. Come on, I'm right behind you. Food can tell if you're worried, you know. Put your positive intentions into it, and it's bound to show up in the end. It's smelling great already. Oh, goodness. Wow, what a combination of bold and delicate flavors. Mm. I call it Cus Love Ballad. Considering the feelings we put into it, it's bound to move the hearts of whoever eats it. Hey, we made some food. Thanks to speed cooking, I cooked without time passing. And I got a plus one to it, thanks to the other skill Maria gave me. So thank you very much, girl. Uh, but if I need fish, maybe I should go try some fishing. Might as well give it a shot at least, right? It's not like anyone else will talk to me right now. Oh, jeez. Isn't this Heisman's fishing gear? I wonder if he's going to do some fishing. Uh, let's fish. Understood. Okay, let's get Heisman. He's literally right next to us. The truth is... Indeed. I thought to do some fishing, but I don't have any good bait. Do you have anything that might work? Uh, I've got worm bait and tail bait. Let's try the tail bait. Then... Oh my, tail bait. This fish won't know what hit them. Let's cast. Ugh. Oh, I'm more tired than I realized. How do I shake this? Uh, just power through it. Pinch your cheeks. Give in to nap time. Now, sometimes if I'm sleeping, a good old self-inflicted slap will do. Hmm. I suppose I'll try that then. The fight is on. Oh, a bite! And it's a strong one! But I'm stronger! <laughs> <There. laughs> just look at this hall. All thanks to you, of course. Two Lord of the Lake. Perfect. I needed those. Hello. Tension and strategy lurk beneath the surface of calm. That's what makes fishing such a beloved pastime. The results hardly matter. In fact, don't bother asking how many I've caught. Um. Well, as much as I hate to say it, I think it's about time we call it a day. Heisman and I gathered our gear and went back inside. Oh. We'll arrive three days from now. I'm being watched, so be careful what you say. I imagine that's the reason they won't let me actually hang out with the party members right now, right? Why Heisman won't talk to me? Ugh. Why Hulkenberg won't talk to me? Despite the facts that they both said they wanted to talk while we were traveling? You bums! Oh, goodness. What about you two? I admit, I was half thinking the stinky little continent runner was gonna sink any second. But it did a decent job running today. And out of all the candidates runners, this one's pretty fast for what it is, yeah. Not that I'd have set one foot on it without Lady Juna being here. Got it. Hmm. If you think I'm going to take my eyes off you just because it's past sundown, think again. You want to try something? Go ahead. See what happens. Count Luis won't be asking me to justify myself. We clear? Again, I will throw you off this boat. Uh, as for what I can actually do, it looks like it's imagination all around. Yeah, it is literally just imagination all around. All right, imagination it is then. Hey. Still technically need it, so mm. might as well. We have to retrieve a mustari to find relic. All while two of Luis's underlings scrutinize our every move. We put ourselves in a difficult situation this time. It'd be one thing if we could simply offer a bribe or talk some sense into them. But those brothers are died in the world devotees for Luis. As far as I can tell, they genuinely see Luis as some sort of hero. What do you make of our dear Count? He's a thief. He's a revolutionary. Now he's a thief. Right. Plain and simple, he's a thief who's now attempting to steal the throne. Yeah. Right. His military may be enough to win over some people. What he's doing now is no better than common theft. And before all else, he's a vicious despot who kills all who oppose him. Whatever your definition of hero may be, there's no doubt that he's the furthest thing from it. Ever since I awakened to this power, there's something I've come to feel very strongly about. That's... Power isn't just for rejecting and destroying things that already exist. It's for building a tomorrow that's better than today. That's the real proper change people are looking for. A fraud pretending to be a hero like Luis can't be what they're looking for, right? Mm-hmm. All right. Give me that imagination, cause four's a long way off. You're not going to sleep yet, are you? Come, chat with me some more. Oh, goodness. Ah, this muckiness is my worst enemy. I don't mind the ocean, but being at sea makes my hair ten times harder to manage. Sure. I know exactly what you mean. The salty air makes it so much worse. Hey, Hockenberg, what do you do with your hair at sea? Yes. I find that the sweat built up by swinging a weapon quickly relieves one of concern over such trifling matters. Speaking of, would you care to spar, Juna? <sighs> oh, I don't think so. I'm quite the wrong person for that, in fact. But tell you what, if I find anyone to help comb out these knots, 
I'll see if I can find you a spotting partner. <laughs> hmm? They say the island is barbaric, but I wonder what this really be like. Uh, it'll be annoying because, again, I can't talk to the teammates that I want to talk to. Oh, God damn, Basilio, you scared me. I was trying to come over here and cook. He's just standing there like, it's like, dude, I'm here now. Ooh, I can make the secretest of secrets for the full MP restore. That sounds awesome. Hmm. We did get a new party member. I wonder if that also means a new book. There are more books now. Maybe June added a few to the collection. Top secret poetry. Do not read. <laughs> Bold block letters span the covers. Do not read. Something tells me this is Judah's creative journal. I haven't read it yet. Oh, it's probably something Juna wrote herself. It says not to read it, but does it make you want to look more inside even more? If I read this book, I may gain more courage. Sure. Might as well. We want to read books regardless. They're usually good stats. Clusters of cryptic phrases and abstract drawings fill the pages. Was this written in some sort of trance? The difference between moonlight and starlight. The difference between me and you. The difference between love and romance. Inquiries like these flood the pages. I don't know why, but reading through this has got me in a cold sweat. Shivers are running down my spine. Huh? Um... Well, you can certainly say that artistic expression is a serious business for Juna. I feel like glimpsing Juna's raw creative passion has increased my courage. Oh, I just realized Otto's playing. I gotta fix that. Ah, there's still left to read. I'll pick it from here next time. Come look at this. Oh, hi, you lot are gonna believe the view I'm seeing outside. I'm hitting the brakes here. Hmm? The gauntlet runner halts at a sandy hollow that suddenly arises from the sea. The towering seawall. It is not an island or a reef, but a mass of sand expanding below sea level. There is no sign of a water flow. Hmm? There are many places in Oceana where the laws of nature fail, but here it is especially evident. The surface drops as though it were gouged out. Still, best not to be distracted by the spectacular. Monsters roam the deep, and tales of people being dragged below are not uncommon. Hmm. Okay. Holy shit, that is cool looking. Incredible! Wow! The sea's been split in two and we're standing on the seafloor! Well... Ha! This is what Magla anomalies are capable of. It's the same principle that maintains the water spheres in Brylehaven, but by Jove, this is on a whole nother level entirely! Still, are you sure about all this? The water ain't about to come down on us, is it? You can't swim? Wanna go back to the runner? That... Do you know how to swim, Basilio? <laughs> Listen, mate, you'd best keep your nose out of places where it doesn't belong. <gasps> oh, look! There's fish swimming in this wall of water! I've never seen such shiny fish! Huh? Uh, Hulkenberg, what are you doing? Is she drooling? Enough. You're not thinking of spearfishing through the seawall, are you? <laughs> hmm? I was mainly considering how I would secure today's allotment of rations. <sighs> oh, she'd eat these weird looking fish without a second thought! Of course she would. Hmm. I suspect that weird luminescence is a defense mechanism. They gather together the depths and shine to ward off predators. Huh. Huh. So weaklings as that they are, they travel together in a group. Who does that remind you of? Must you sing barbs at every opportunity? It's exhausting. Besides, it's only natural for those lower on the food chain to seek advantages that compensate for weaknesses. Huh? I say, those shining scales would work as excellent dyes. Hulkenberg, my girl. Be sure to catch some extra. I need a few specimens to dissect. That is well. As you wish. I shall catch enough that we should all dine well. I would rather you didn't. The supplies we receive in town more than meet our needs. Besides, the sky looks ominous. A storm likely approaches. I see. I see. If that is the consensus, then let us head back. I feel not the least bit of regret, I assure you. Ha! Yeah. <laughs> ah, he's got a point. This sea wall might even collapse in the rain. And I'd rather not stay to find out. Catching sight of this unexpected view has brought in my wisdom. All right. Because, you know, I could definitely use more of that too. And a drawing for Maria. And here you go, lad. A drawing of the seawall. I made sure that the glowing fish were depicted as true to life as my hand allows. Thank you. I decided to keep it as a souvenir. Oh, lovely. It is storming. Terrible rain. 
will be a storm soon enough. Can this vessel withstand it? <laughs> Can Leon withstand it? Look at him. <laughs> I swear to God, he's turning green. It's doing better than me, at least. Suppose we do owe Forden, if only because he handled that sea monster. Closure, a closure, etc. Mm hmm. Uh oh. Did we hit a rock out there or something? Back in a mo, I'll go sneak a look outside. <sighs> Those fool brothers are still abed, even in this tempest. <sighs> Bloody parapus. Almost makes one envy them. Right, I heard. You aren't too fond of the parapus. They both had horrible upbringings, those two. But they really do have kind hearts behind the glares. They've risked their lives for mine countless times. Hmm. <laughs> one time, I asked what I could do to repay them, and they came over all red-faced. We'd like to hear you sing, Lady Juna. Your voice is awful pretty, Lady Juna. <laughs> <laughs> is this a joke to you? You think an outcast Ujif is in no position to speak ill of the Paripus? What? No, I didn't mean. <sighs> Bloody hell, how does anyone sleep on this old bucket? You feel that shaking earlier? Mm hmm. Huh? Could cut the air in here with a knife. What were you two on about? <sighs> How to get the lance? Just sharing life stories. Everyone's life stories, I suppose. <laughs> Indeed. Talking about how I dislike the Paripus. You and the rest of the world. Or do you think you're special? <sighs> we don't have to keep dancing around it, do we, Del? Why can't we be straight with them? Hmm? Just come out with it, yeah? Tell them you still ain't sure that stuff with Glodel was on the level. Ah! There we go. If even we're suspicious, there's no way Lord Luis hasn't worked it out already. Not that it matters to me, anyway. Still, I had to make sure, see for myself whether Lady Juna is on our side or not. Come on, you two. <sighs> oh, what the? F That's not good. That's not a rock. Ah, something's out there. Oh, crap. Look outside. It's a monster. A great briny beast. Everyone to the deck, quick. <sighs> Let me guess. Forden didn't actually slay the monster. Now we have to do it. What's happening? What's happening? Our prep. Hit the deck once you're prepared. Ah, uh, you're kidding me. I got time. I definitely got time to deal with this crap. Uh, what qualifies as prepared, though? I guess we just deal with what equipment we got. All right, everybody's good and set. Let's roll. All right, then. Uh, no, the store. To the deck. Oh, animated cutscene. What is the thing? It's a hentai monster. Uh oh. Hey. What the hell are you doing? This supposed to be you helping those in need or yeah. yourself. I'm holding on to it so he can cut it. There, no, perfect. Hurry. Why you is there a crown on one of those? Huh? You realize this changes nothing. We're still. Dude, will you shut up already? Oh, fuck me squared. It's a human. Human? Don't charge straight at it. We've got the arms. We'll clear them out of the way. Uh, got it. If we don't kill the thing, we're all sunk. Don't mm -hmm. get used to it. God damn. Yeah. That thing is creepy looking. Now's our chance. All right, the face is ours. Slice up some more of the bastard's legs, stick to the body, and take out what limbs you can. Gotcha. I don't know about you, but I'm not dying today. Let's get this over with. This keeps up the runner's wreck. Can we get those giant legs? Changing your party in battle. 
To switch out a party members during battle, press L1 to access the order view and select party. Switching members consumes one turn icon. Well, actually, it concerns half a two turn icon for me. All right, so who's out right now? It's Hulkenberg, huh? Oh no, you stay in the back, madame. Hmm. Oh god, we got a lot of legs. All right. Raging fire. Let's see how you like some fire. Ooh, he likes fire. How about you? You like some slice and dice? I can slash. Right on target. Ooh, that did good damage. No, let's work together. <sighs> no. Okay, I need to figure out what you're weak to. Ice, maybe? Probably not. Nope, neutral. Observe the enemy. Come. <sighs> maybe electric. Try electric. Oh, we got a weakness. We found a weakness. It's called lightning. Howling wind. Wind is neutral. Slash is still quite effective. Ooh! It's lost all of its legs and is weakened all of a sudden. Lightning. Zap. <laughs> Did that just do 1,400 damage? Eww. Oh god, he gooed us. He gooed us all. Ah, he gooed us all. Why? Why did he have to goo us all? Not this item. Actually, you have you have Conde. You're gonna zap him. All right. Uh, what is this? This is Malady. And I need this off of me badly because I'm the one doing the most damage. Be ready for anything. There we go. Let come forth. Actually, wait. Yes. Con no, because she has a status effect that can't condi on. Ah, you bitch. Hmm. Guard up for right now. Are you prepared? I can slash. That still does good damage. Yep. Yep, there's all the extra turn icons. Ow. Getting a little low on life here. Oh, please. Oh no! Don't go down! Don't go down! Don't go down! Okay, ah, I got sick again. Stroll can't take any more. Wizard, someone heal him. <sighs> Lightning. That'll do. Woohoo! That fight wasn't too bad. God dang. Good chunk of change, too. <laughs> Look at all the ranks and levels for everybody. Sorry, Hulkenberg. Or not Hulkenberg, Heisme. I'll, uh, I'll swap you back in later. Whew. Well, that was fun. We overcame it somehow. I can't believe this. There are still monsters out here. Forden lied. He, he lied to everybody. And no surprise there. Either he lied, or he didn't know. Maybe the humans are spreading faster than anyone expected. <laughs> oh, first time we've seen you lot really cut loose. That sure was magic, even with no igniters. Guess that's the kind of power that kills humans. Mm-hmm. And you can do it too, Lady Juna. Yep, she can now. <laughs> well, I picked it up from him. You know I've a knack for improvising, love. But we'd never have gotten through this without you two helping us. Thank you. Uh, um, of course, my lady. <laughs> you too, Fidelio. Don't mention it. Wouldn't have survived otherwise. Hmm. Not sure about him yet. 
Eh? Wait, something's amiss. I still hear water flowing, but it's coming from inside the runner. Ah, oh, crap. He cracked the hull. Blast! We're dipping awfully low. Getting a bit soggy in here, chums. Hold on, we're sinking. You've got to be kidding. Ah, oh, crud. Bail the water. You two, help us. What? You can't just order us. Oh, this bloody rust bucket. <laughs> Come on, it's either that or sink. Ah. <sighs> <sighs> that was a long day yesterday. I'm glad we lived to see another morning. I'm very happy that we survived and are still afloat. But after bailing all that water out, it would seem that my poor back was a casualty of the incident. <laughs> you really came through in a pinch, I must say. It's all thanks to you that my dear girl is well and safe. We must repay those old bones of yours for their sterling service. You're right. Oh, too true. Maybe a day off will get these brothers to lighten up a bit, too. So, how about it, darlings? Let's take a day to just relax and watch the ocean. Uh, really? I'd rather have a day to continue traveling. Uh, we should arrive at the island tomorrow. Hmm. We managed to defeat the monster, so why not thank everyone for their efforts? In times like this, people tend to open up more. But not enough! Not enough, apparently! Well, my friends, I think this is a good spot to stop for now. That was a fun way to end out the episode. If you've enjoyed this, please leave a like and favorite, and subscribe to join me for more fantastical racism. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.